It is the number one health problem in the nation because it affects our youngest people. Unless we make some major change in our approach, uh, the preterm delivery rate will be the same. We're very passionate about trying to get these babies one more day of life in the uterus because it makes a huge difference. Every extra day in the uterus is two or three days that they cut off the neonatal intensive care unit stay. And that's a huge difference in maturity and development. We'd have probably um, more functional uh, members of society that could be more productive if they weren't um, enduring consequences of prematurity. Prematurity has also broken up family units because of the the relationship strains on dealing with complications of medical issues and how it disrupts life and disrupts finances. Before the onset of, of symptoms, before we have to make a diagnosis, we can screen for those at-risk patients. And we've tried that uh, multiple different ways in the past and they haven't been very successful. Uh, we look at risk factors. We'll wait till patients show up with symptoms and by then it's too late to, to actually have or make a difference. There are several studies that have shown that women who get uh, prenatal care in a group versus traditional one-on-one -on -one settings actually have a reduced risk of preterm birth, and this is particularly true in several high-risk populations. And if you really could identify ahead of time high-risk groups, then you could really shuffle them to this group prenatal care idea. You can increase your surveillance. Um, we've shown in in women with a history of a previous spontaneous preterm birth, that if you have um, intense surveillance, including cervical length measurements, monitoring for symptoms, more frequent visits, um, even managed care, um, you can reduce the rate of preterm birth in those populations. The truth is it's the leading cause of neonatal death and long-term health problems. And if you think about it differently, if I give you a heads up, and you can start your intervention early, there's a chance that you'll be successful. And there is hope. Even if that patient goes on to deliver early and we really can't prevent it from happening, it are, it's our responsibility that that person get care for their sort of ensuing preterm birth um, early because we need to get them to the right place we want to get them to the right level of care obstetrically and also for the neonatal intensive care unit. What we should be doing obstetrics is to allow every baby to live up to their full potential. I think we could do better in many ways. I think providers could do better by educating patients about it, by being more educated about it themselves in terms of detection and prevention strategies, who's at risk, who's not at risk, at higher risk or lower risk. So we have to do better. In, in terms of our overall uh, prevention risk. That's from a scientific perspective. As science improves, if we have a better ability to predict who is at risk for preterm delivery, I think the science will get better. We just can't give up on these babies. They, we've, we've got to keep fighting for them. If we keep searching for the answers, eventually we're going to find something that, that works better and, and keep improving on our outcomes, hopefully. We can make a difference, maybe in one baby's life, maybe in one family's life. We can make a difference if we want to.